Happy July 16th. It's Friday and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup. I'm Aaron Norris. Let's get started with the news. First up, U.S. foreclosures uh, increase according to Realty Track. Bank repos increased 38% in the second quarter up from a year ago and 5% up from the previous quarter. Foreclosure Radar releasing very similar numbers about foreclosure filings, but they're also telling us that cancellations at the trustee sales uh, were driven up to the highest point this month by J.P. Morgan Chase, who purchased Washington Mutual loans. Um, also, third-party bids at the trustee sales actually got a better discount this last month. If you're not getting Foreclosure Radar's free uh, market timing report monthly, you should definitely sign up on their website. Check out foreclosureradar.com. LA launches its own foreclosure initiative this week. The city can now levy fines up to $100,000 per property. Um, they can charge up to $1,000 per day per code violation, uh, which is going to add up quickly. Um, the ordinance now requires banks to register their inventory of homes um, with the city. Uh, the California Mortgage Bankers Association citing that this is not very smart. It just increases the amount of paperwork and it's already public information. Nevertheless, the city is going to be making a lot more money. California Attorney General Jerry Brown is suing Fannie and Freddie over PACE. If you're not familiar with PACE, it stands for Property Asset Clean Energy. This is where a consumer can take out a low um, interest rate loan to improve their house and do some uh, measures to improve the efficiency, save some energy. The problem with it is the energy improvement loan makes the first mortgage lien subordinate to the PACE loan. So you think you have a first trustee and all of a sudden you don't. It actually gets attached to the tax bill. Depending on what city you're from, they're structured all slightly differently, so you have to watch out for those. Fannie and Freddie, of course, complaining that uh, it, kicks them out of the first place position and it also they have no control over the underwriting um, and it also increases their risk. So not happy about that and we're sure, sure to hear a lot more as probably more banks chime in about um, this program in California. FHA in the news this week changing some guidelines where at least they're looking for a 30-day period of public comment looking to change three things in particular. They're changing the credit and down payment requirements for new borrowers. If the borrowers have a FICO score of 580 or higher, they can enjoy the flagship 3.5% program. If the borrowers have less than 580, they might have to put as much as 10% down, maybe even over, and borrowers with a credit score of less than 500 no longer qualify. Um, the second one, they're, they're going to lower seller concessions from 6% to 3%. And last but not least, they're going to be tightening underwriting standards for manually underwritten loans. So we're going to be looking more at loan to value, debt to income ratios, and cash reserves. HUD is planning to release more of its properties to the NSP program. It's combining the first look sales method and the NSP program, allowing the NSP program to purchase some of these properties for 10% below appraised value. This goes into effect this week and lasts all the way through May. 2013. So you might be seeing cities, the nonprofits, and all those other entities underneath the Neighborhood Stabilization Program getting a few more houses. The SEC this week dishes out the largest Wall Street fine to Goldman Sachs for $550 million. $250 million will go to the investors and $300 million will go back to the government. Goldman acknowledges its marketing material for collateralized debt obligations. Uh, we're missing some key facts and uh, known vital information. Uh, busted. Probably the biggest news this week, of course, the Senate passes the Financial Regulation Act um, to a 60 to 39 vote. This 2300 page bill uh, goes on the desk of Obama. He's expected to sign it next week. Of course, in it, it creates a Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, Financial Stability Council. The government can uh, has the ability to take over troubled finance companies and wind them down. And of course, new regulations about hedge funds. Um, the Deputy Treasury Secretary, Neil Wallen, however, says that uh, the GSEs will not be in consideration until next year while it focuses on enacting this bill first. So Fannie and Freddie probably won't see any changes until next year. Now that's it for the news this week. Um, upcoming events July 21st. That's just next week. Can you believe how quickly July is flying? We were at the Women's Invest Club doing the seven characteristics of a great real estate investor. Followed the next week, uh, July 28th, that's Wednesday, at the Investors Workshops for Emerging Trends 2010, uh, featuring a special interview one-on-one -on -one with Sean Watkins and Bruce Norris. Uh, Sean always does a fantastic job. If uh, Orange County, this is probably the last time we're going to be there this year. Definitely want to check out that. Hopefully you're not on vacation. Uh, this all leads up to August 15th. That's the Advanced uh, Skills and Strategies Workshop that we're doing in Orange County. Check out that on our website at thenorrisgroup.com. If you haven't checked out the I Survived Real Estate 2010 website, you're definitely going to want to do it. Um, we've selling out really quickly. Almost the entire front of the room is already sold out. 
Um, we're expecting a really great crowd because of the content and the speakers this year. We're waiting for one more panelist confirmation, so definitely check out 2010, uh, isurvive2010.com to find out how you can get involved. Up on the radio show this week is Tony Alvarez for his second interview. Um, this was one of the awards that we got, uh, one of three awards, two of which we got for the radio show and podcast. So everybody, thanks for listening and your support. Uh, for more information on upcoming events, always check out our website at thenorrisgroup.com. And that's the same place you can find information on our hard money loans. If you're looking to do some investing with trustees, check out tngtrustees.com. Have a fantastic and safe weekend and don't get burned.